In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down how to edit like Rob the Bank in DaVinci Resolve 2024. If you guys don't know who Rob the Bank is, he has one of the most unique styles of editing when it comes to Instagram Reels, and he has single-handedly changed the game with editing on Instagram by introducing a whole new style. So in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down how he edits and how you can do the same and follow along and copy his style in DaVinci Resolve. And if you are new here, my name is Ryan Herrick, and I help other editors get saucy in DaVinci Resolve. And if you're looking to take editing to the next level, then click the first link in the description, which is a private community with all my editing packs, weekly calls with me, and a full A to Z course on DaVinci Resolve. But without further ado, let's hop into DaVinci Resolve right now. All right, guys, so in here we have some footage that we're going to uh, simply recreate, right? I just found his one of his most recent posts, and I just was gonna show you guys how the style and what exactly we're gonna recreate today, so. I am not a chill guy. My dog doesn't wear any hat. I do not give a damn about whatever crypto you are blabbling about six and believe it or not, you can do all of this in DaVinci Resolve. So next thing we have is an example clip of him with just no text, no captions, no nothing over it, just to make my life a whole lot easier. So with that being said, the first thing I'm gonna do is smart reframe this. I'm gonna go to auto and then go ahead and reframe my footage. And if it doesn't work for you guys, what we can do is go ahead and add a reference point by going to the drop down menu and referencing a point. So then auto reframing that reference point. All right guys, so now once your footage is finally uh, where you want it, now to give it more of a stable look, I'm gonna go ahead and add a camera shake. Now obviously what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna turn all this deviations down, the overall strength a whole lot down, and the speed, just so it gives a very subtle um, shake, almost to where like we don't even like realize it, like for real. So we're gonna turn just about everything down and give it a very subtle shake, just nothing absolutely crazy. But now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna unlink this and I'm just gonna grab this audio. And I know it doesn't like match up with it, but just for today's video's sake, I'm just gonna grab this audio so that way I'm able to recreate what he's saying just exactly word for word. Now that we have this shaky look, it says, I am not a chill guy, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the titles, we're gonna go ahead and grab a text plus. We're gonna drag this over to the end just because, just for now. And we're gonna say, I'm not, just for now. I'm gonna go ahead and use the clash display variable. I'm gonna do bold. Now we're gonna do it about yay big because clearly the ones that he's using aren't that big really either. So I'm not, we're gonna just go ahead and move these going over the layout, like about like right there. So if we go back up to his, so he says, I am not a just like that. So now that it says like, I am not, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just leave it just like this. We're gonna go ahead and create a new compound clip and we're gonna go ahead and turn on the right mode on uh, cropping. So now when it says, I am I, not, I am, I am, I am, am not. So then we'll go ahead and turn this one, go ahead and uncover not, so. I am not. So right here, we're gonna grab this other text plus and we're gonna do chill guy. We're gonna go ahead and scroll all the way down until we find this very cool looking text right here. What we're gonna do differently is, is go ahead and hit a, a space in between the chill guy because we're working with smaller footage. And under the text, we're gonna go to line spacing and just really bring them as close as possible. Going to the shading, um, the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and add a red outline and turn the thickness all the way up. Maybe not all the way up, maybe like right there. And we're just gonna turn this to a white color. And if you wanna make sure it's the exact same, you can grab the color picker and just boom. So also, you know, you could play with the thickness so that it's not like uh, anything too like crazy outrageous. Also something you can do is if you can, if you wanna keep it like that, you can change the color to black like that, and then we're gonna do something pretty cool to it right here, right now, so. Next thing we're gonna do is turn the actual color to what he had, which is like, almost like a light blue, like this. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually turn up the size of this chill guy. So we need it at about 0 0.7, like right there. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna do it a little bit different than him because I'm working with different footage, but I'm gonna bring this one down here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add a glow and we're gonna turn this glow up pretty much a lot to make it look a lot better. Then we're gonna go ahead and add a drop shadow, turn the strength up and then the blur down and the drop distance a lot closer. So like that, just like that. Then we're gonna add a soft glow, 
add that on, that pretty much completes the chill guy look that he has. So if we look at his, it's pretty similar to mine. I genuinely like mine better, honestly, if I'm being honest. Um, now the next thing we need to get is this chill guy PNG. Now I'm going to show you guys the best way to do that. So over here in Google, we're going to look up chill guy PNG and we're going to go to the images and here he is right here. We're just going to go ahead and double click and hit save image as. Okay, so now we have the chill guy in here. He is not how we want him, but what we're going to do is we're going to create a new compound clip and head to the fusion page. Now we're going to go ahead and shift for, search a for a magic mask and hit better. And we're just going to mask out just his, uh, his head did a pretty good job. We just need to exit out this right there. Now we have literally what, what we need. So now if we go here, now his chill guy head is just basically replaced his head, which is exactly what we want. Now we're going to go ahead and go up here and go to change clip speed and add a freeze frame. It's going to make it to where we basically can just have this freeze frame of this quote unquote chill guy in the frame, just like this. So now we're going to cut everything just like that. And with this chill guy, we're going to go ahead and add a diamond. We're going to hit these diamonds. They're called keyframes. We're going to keyframe it on his face right here. And we're going to go frame by frame and animate it with his head. Now he doesn't do much head movement, which is good on our end and a lot less work, but we want to move it as his mouth is talking. So as you can see, it kind of goes below like this, just a little bit, go a few more frames. And we're basically just going to do this until we get to the end of this clip. Okay, so now if we go ahead and we play this Kill through, guy. it basically just, it goes on his head as he's moving around. So if I were to go like this, the chill guy guy would just be on my head as I'm moving around, right? So, and then another thing he does is he, uh, uh, go ahead and add the opacity to zero, and then we're going to keyframe it and then go to, uh, to, to one. So now it's animating with him. Boom. Just like that. My dog. So the next thing he does is he has this dog, animation right here of this cat or he has this animation of a dog with a hat on. So we're going to try to replicate that as well. So we're going to look up dog with a hat. So here we go. We actually found the exact same picture. So we're going to go ahead and hit save image, go back in here and we're going to do very similar uh, items, but a lot di uh, something that's very different. So at the same time, we're going to do something similar, but also different. So what we're going to first things first do is we're going to do the same exact thing. So we're going to create a new compound clip on this first frame go to the fusion page and we're going to hit shift space for a magic mask. Go ahead and hit better and just mask out this dog. So there we go. We have a pretty solid mask on frame one. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go frame one. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click this and change the clip speed and as a, add a freeze frame. Now we could take this however long we want. So now this is just pretty much we're good. So we're going to simply bring this dog like right here where his was just like so. And now that we have it there, I'm just going to go ahead and create another compound clip. What we're going to do here now is go to effects and using my plugin pre animate, we're going to go ahead and grab the animation fast up and down. As you can see guys, we literally have like 30 plus handmade animations, but anyways, fast up down. We're going to add this on. And as you can see here now have pre-made animations that just animate out for us. And then also animating in and out for us. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the time back resolution and hit quarter. So that way we're able to actually play these effects through. So now, as you can see, we have this animation and it is going to work on animating in and animating out. That is the beauty of this plugin. And guys, you can get this plugin by joining the community. You get it for completely free, just like you get all of my editing packs. This next effect we're going to learn is he says this word right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to simply go over how he does that. And I know these effects are so simple, but right now his style is genuinely blowing up. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab another text plus and we're going to say just like this. We're going to grab that same text that I was using that you guys can all copy me by grabbing and we're going to size this up. And what we're first things first going to do is go ahead and head into the fusion page. And first thing we're going to do is add a glow. We're going to leave that glow just like that. Hold option, scroll up, 
turn this one to yellow, go to the Fusion page, then we're gonna mess with the glow by turning it up and then the glow size down, just like so. So now if we turn this off, you can see what it has the effect on. So next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create this one as a compound clip. We're gonna turn the opacity down, we're gonna hit his keyframe and go up here, and then we're gonna turn it back to normal. Hey, damn. So now if we look at this, hey, damn. super similar hey, damn. to what his hey, is, almost identical. Hey, damn. Hey, damn. So that's just something that he does. About and that is pretty much how he handles his simplistic reels with a little bit of mixture of advanced stuff as well.